Yes. <laughs> and that was the beginning of this. The first poem is the only one that has a queer word in it, because words also sit down waiting for poems to find a little home in. They're waiting for rental in a poem. And the word oxter means armpit. And I've, I've been thinking for years, what much better than armpit, oxter, oxter. <laughs> <laughs> the first poem in my domestic sublime sequence is called The Surface of Things. Pleasantly rolling deodorant into an oxter. <laughs> he thought of the shave ahead, whether it's done at the upper left hand corner or the line of the jaw instead. From the loose aggregate of such choices, a common life is made. <laughs> Fate no more than a thicket of brand names and the moment when you delay. The next poem is called Saucer, and I think it's the first poem in the English language entirely devoted to a saucer. <laughs> Chaucer was another matter. <laughs> we'll save him for a ride. Saucer. Who first spotted the lack, not that is to slip in between the cup and lip, but down under a hot mark or cup, yet if it comes to that, a place would be nearly over the top. Something then to stop the drips or keep the peas too popular lap, not to have washing up, stop a simple splash or slop, and sit here for the waiter's tip, but sad without a cup. <laughs>